If you have a passion for all things art and culture, then living in London, you will definitely be spoiled for choice. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you three fabulous neighborhoods where you can get your cultural fix and have an endless supply of things to do outside your doorstep. Hi everyone, I'm Ugo Renze. I am a self-proclaimed culture vulture, um, but by day I actually work as a property agent. I specialize in helping clients buying and selling property throughout London. Um, I love working with international buyers and people relocating to London and helping them discover some incredible places to live. And so my YouTube channel is dedicated to showcasing the London property market um, as well as lifestyle and various places to live and things to love about London. So this video is very special to me because I get to show off some of the things that I love about London and some specific neighborhoods where you can really um, immerse yourself with culture and experience the best of London life. So first up is one of London's hippest and coolest neighborhoods is Shoreditch. Its edgy vibe is ever present in its fantastic street art alongside warehouse canals and recent new builds. Located in East London, it draws a heavy crowd of creatives, but as it's fairly close to the city of London, it's becoming ever more popular for lawyers and bankers. Well known for its historic brick lane, which offers vintage shops galore and street art to whet your appetite for quirky and modern art without having to go to a specific venue. Shoreditch has been rapidly growing in popularity, causing many modern developers to come to the area and create stunning modern apartments for new residents to live. I actually even have a current listing in Shoreditch, one at the Rosewood building um, at Shoreditch Exchange. It's a fabulous property in a great building with lots of amenities including concierge and resident gym and cinema room. If you want to check out that property or some of our other featured listings, I'll have a link in the link above. The great thing about Shoreditch is, is that if you do want your art and culture fix, it is definitely a variety of ways to do it. If you enjoy culture through your stomach, you won't be disappointed here. Head to Brick Lane, lovingly coined Bangladown, for a selection of 23 excellent curry houses and sweet shops providing the best of Bengali delights. A top pick for food critics is Bengal Village at 75 Brick Lane. This fabulous curry house provides incredible eats, including tender slow-cooked garka lamb, scorched seek kebabs, and Bangladeshi fish specialties. You can also grab a delicious bagel from Bagel Bake at 159 Brick Lane, which opened in 1976. Not only can you get the classic Jewish bagels, but you can also have it with salt beef or salmon with cream cheese. And you can pick up one anytime as it's open 24 seven. For a place that provides something for all your senses, then you must head to Rich Mix at 34-47 Bethnal Green Road. Run as an independent space for all. It houses three cinema screens, exhibition and performance spaces, as well as cafe and bar. They often host art shows, gigs, theater shows, festivals, and workshops open to the family. If you prefer to get your art fixed from a smaller exhibition space, then head to the quirky independent arts gallery that's seemingly around every street corner. Some of the top picks are Eneva Institute of International Visual Arts at 16 John Islip Street, Kate McAgree Gallery at 27 Old Nickel Street, and 100 Years Gallery at 13 Pearson Street. There's also weekly concerts alongside their ever-changing art installations. If you prefer more nightlife, then you can head to the Village Underground at 54 Hollywell Lane for nightly gigs across a variety of genres from rock to rave. And there's also the Museum of Home and Shortage, a surprising finding in an area filled with nightlife and quirky street art that explores the concept of the home from 1600 to present day. I've actually never been here and I'm so excited to learn about the Museum of the Home and I'll definitely be checking it out soon. The House Dynamics in Shoreditch. This area is quickly proving very popular for young professionals and artists for the reasons I've mentioned above. This means lots of modern buildings with flats and apartments alongside historical period homes and fantastic converted warehouses. Properties in Shoreditch had an average overall price of $693,000 over the last year. The majority of sales of shortage um, were, set, were flats, selling for an average of £632,000, while terrace properties sold for an average of £1.36 million. 
Overall sold price and shortage over the last year were 7% down in the previous year and 16% down on the 2019 peak of 829,000 pounds, according to Rightmove. Moving on, in one of the most prestigious and sought after areas of London is South Kensington. Not only are the streets filled with stunning white stucco fronted or red brick mansion blocks, but you're surrounded by some of the world's most famous institutions for art and culture. South Kensington is located in Southwest London with neighbors including Kensington and Knightsbridge. I actually recently featured South Kensington in one of our area guides, so you can definitely click the link above to find out more about South Kensington. Specifically on the arts and culture side, let's feature some highlights. The favorite thing for me to do on any given weekend is to head down to South Kensington and go to the V&A to check out the latest installations. It is such an inspiring space and the building is so incredibly beautiful. Filled with fashion pieces and sculptures, it houses over 2.3 million objects that span over 5,000 years of creativity while having some of the most incredible um, special exhibitions, whether it's Christian Dior, or Alexander McQueen, or recently Fabergé. You will not tire of the amount of um, exhibitions that you can attend. Beyond the V&A, South Kensington also houses the other big players for culture, the Royal Albert Hall for concerts and performances, the Natural History Museum, and the Science Museum. If this wasn't enough, the Design Museum was moved to the air in 2016, and it showcases all things contemporary design and is truly an astounding place to check out. What do you think so far of South Kensington? Make sure to leave me a message if any of those museums spark your interest. But whatever your preference is, you really are in the heart of culture in London when it comes to living in South Ken. Because the area attracts a lot of tourists, perhaps you might want to find some quiet streets that are very serene. Luckily, many of South Kensington streets are very actually quiet and, and exclusive and include private garden squares. Residents will know all the local bars, restaurants, cafes, and shops that can avoid the tourists. On the housing front, South Kensington offers residents some incredible places to live. From the area's well-loved grade two listed white stucco villas and Georgian red brick mansion blocks to quirky muse properties down cobblestone streets. If you love classic homes with pure features and stunning exteriors, you're in the right place. However, it's not cheap. Properties in South Kensington had an overall price of 2.45 million pounds over the last year. The majority of sales were flat, selling for an average of 1.7 million pounds, and terrace properties sold for an average of 4.4 million pounds, with semi-detached properties fetching an average of 8.8 .8 million pounds. Overall, sold prices in South Kensington over the last year were down 8% on the previous year and 6% down on the 2018 peak of 2.6 million pounds, according to Rightmove. Finally, if you're looking for an area that's steeped in history, has loads of culture, um, that, and that's also relatively close to the city, then Clerkenwell might be the perfect new discovery for you. Also located in East London, its neighbors included the City of London, Angel, and King's Cross. The area has diverse history with breweries, craft workers, and even a lifestyle market in Smithfield that has been going on for 800 years. You'll be stepping back in time when you head to this area. It even has more creative businesses and architectural firms per square mile than anywhere in the world. Clerkenwell seems to be the place that only the locals seem to know. Providing a fashionable lifestyle, it is a loved area by foodies, history buffs, and those with a passion for design, theater, and entertainment. To grab an historical or political read, you'll want to visit the Marx Memorial Library at 37A Clerkenwell Green. It's an archive repository focused on Marxist and wider social bodies of work housed in an incredible building built in 1738. If you want something a little bit lighter, then you can head to the Postal Museum at 15-20 Phoenix Place for a quirky day out. Not only will you get to ride through hidden tunnels, but you can discover a selection of incredible objects steeped in history. There's even cryptic Victorian Valentine cards to read. For your evening cultural fix, head to Sadler's Weld on Rosebury Avenue. This incredible space offers a variety of dance shows across all forms. Or if you prefer to dance the night away yourself, the area is home to a renowned club called Fabric. This area is also home to a selection of stunning churches steeped in history. The area itself is home to a large community of Italians when they moved there in the 1800s. 
With this, they built the beautiful Roman Catholic Church of St. Peter and St. Paul on 5 Amwell Street that you can still visit today. Then head to the city's oldest Italian delicatessen across the street, Taroni, for breakfast, curd meats, and cheeses. You can also visit the beautiful St. James's of Clerkenwell at Seckford Street. Step inside for, or peek at their gorgeous stained glass windows or view from the outside its imposing tower. In terms of housing, due to its history, you'll definitely see a variety of incredible properties in Clerkenwell. From 17th century homes around the market square to listed estates converted into flats or apartments, there are also modern developments, terrace Georgian and Victorian townhouses, and even some Victorian warehouse conversions and new muse homes. Properties in Clerkenwell had an overall average price of £870,000 over the last year. Flats sold for an average of about £750,000 and terrace homes sold for an average of £2.8 million with detached properties fetching £1.98 million. Overall sold prices in Clerkenwell over the last year were down 6% on the previous year and down 9% on the 2018 peak of £959,000. So were any of these areas a surprise to you? I'd love it if you'd leave me some comments below. And if you are thinking about moving to London or discovering different areas to live, please reach out. I'm always happy to have a conversation, point you in the right direction, or see if I can help. And if you want to know more about London lifestyle, you can actually follow me on Instagram at Onyx London Life, where I put out daily posts about living in London and so many cultural things that we get up into. Let me know about your favorite hobbies and passions so that perhaps we can do a future video in London where you can immerse yourself. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to check out my other videos on my YouTube channel where I share great tips and information about the London property market and living in this fabulous city. So that's Ugo Orense with Onyx Property Team and Keller Williams. Bye for now.